Hey everyone, Craig here with another Minecraft Journey. Now, before I start this off, I'm going to let you all know I have kind of a sore throat, so I will be chugging on water and clearing my throat quite often, so hold on. Mm. <clears throat> now, I don't have a, throat, uh, a sore throat because I'm sick or anything. I have been uh, screaming at my television, but I'll get to that in a second. I'm just going to quickly do an update on... Let's see what I have. Okay. I'm going to quickly do an update on the server. Now, maybe someone who's smart can explain this to me, but whenever I use the server, or whenever the server window's up, it keeps saying, time ran backwards, did the system time change, as an error. If anyone can explain that, I would greatly appreciate it. Because, let me just turn up my volume. Because I don't know what that means, I don't understand it. Um, but in an attempt to fix that problem, I completely deleted the, uh, server software and reinstalled it. And someone got in. One person has joined, looked around, asked if anyone was available, and then, you know, left again. Twice. So, if you guys haven't been trying, please try again and see if it works now. Because someone got in. Someone found a way to make it work. Um... But let's see, the reason my, sort of th uh, my throat is sore, and I studied this before because I was yelling at my TV. Now, I'm not crazy. I wasn't yelling at my TV because I was disagreeing with something on the news. Or I wasn't yelling at my TV because my sports team was losing. I was yelling at my TV because of a little game called Dead Space 2. Now, for the uh, very few people who seemingly watched my Dead Space 2 video, um... You'll know that I was I was actually kind of enjoying the game. And you know what? It's a it is a great game. It is fantastic. Within three days I had beaten that game three times. Twice on normal and once on zealot. And I had gotten all but one achievement. Now, if anyone's played Dead Space 2, you know which achievement I'm talking about. Ooh, more iron. The achievement achievement I'm talking about is for beating the game on hardcore difficulty. Hardcore difficulty is the hardest of all of them, of all the difficulties, surprisingly enough. Um, I, I've heard it's harder than Zealot, but there's a thing that makes Hardcore special. Hardcore, the ammo is really limited, the health packs are more limited, Isaac is easier to kill, enemies are harder to kill, all that stuff. But what makes it worse is that on Hardcore, you are limited to three game saves the entire campaign. Not three save slots, three saves. If you save three times, you're not saving again until the game is over or you throw a controller out the window. With all that said, my first attempt on hardcore, I died after about 30 minutes and had to start from the beginning. My second time, I got to chapter 5 and decided to save. Then I got to chapter 10 and decided to save. And then after a difficult sequence, Chapter 13 started, and I decided to save at the beginning of that, and use up my final save. This was a mistake. Now, I'm not going to give spoilers away, but I'm going to describe some stuff, okay? Don't worry. In Dead Space 2, chapter 13 to 15 probably would take you about an hour. I, just, I thought I just saw something flicker. Just a glitch, I guess. It would probably take about an hour. Probably take about an hour, okay? So I played through it once, and about 15 minutes for the end boss, I died. I was pissed. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> oh, where's my water? Mm. Oh, that's good water. I don't want to take out, but whatever. Um, so I died about 15 minutes before the end, because the end of the game is pretty much just a long gauntlet of enemies. So... So I died, and I was pissed, and, I, was, and I, I, I spent a while to cool down, and then I, uh, but you know, up until dying, I was doing alright. I had got, I had upgraded my suit, I had enough money to upgrade my suit, I kept finding ammo, I was doing alright. And the reason why I was pissed off at first, then, is because with full health, I was killed in one hit. Now, I realize this is the hardest difficulty, and that's not... That's not crazy to assume that would happen. But the fact that I was killed in one hit from an enemy 
that has hit me before and has never killed me in one hit. I was I was outraged. I was so goddamn mad. But spent a while to cool down and tried it again. Now my second time through didn't go as well. Uh, I didn't find as much ammo. I didn't uh, get enough credits to upgrade my suit. So I was limited in my inventory space. I was not doing as well. But despite all of that, I made it to the end. I made it to the end boss. Now, again, this is not spoiler. This is not story spoiler. This is just boss strategy stuff. The ending boss is pretty much one slow moving enemy who's trying to walk toward you. You have to kill that enemy. And when you do, uh, a weak point shows up. A big, big old target shows up as a weak point, which you have to shoot until it's dead. Then you win. Uh, excuse me. Now, I shot the slow-moving enemy. I shot the uh, I shot the weak point until it went away because you know it's a game that happens. And then um, after the first time you do it, a bunch of smaller enemies come out uh, uh, and try to and try to attack you. They're weak, but they come in a large number. So. Naturally, to get away from them, I turned to my left, and I ran a couple of steps. Now, the slow-moving enemy, after, your, uh, after they come back, they just, um, they just appear anywhere. They randomly, oop, they randomly appear. And the enemy decided to randomly appear to my left a couple of steps. If this slow-moving enemy touches you one time, you don't get a quick time event, you don't get a chance to get out of it. If this slow moving enemy touches you once, you're dead. So I feel like the game was not fair at that point. I'm already, I already have limited ammo, I'm already struggling to survive, and you have the fucking gall to spawn the one hit kill enemy directly to my left. It was absolute, absolute horseshit. Am I the only one seeing, like, little flashes on the screen? Like, if they're there, I'm sure you see them, but... Anyway, for now, I've decided to take a break from Dead Space 2, because I'm really getting sick of playing the same hour of gameplay over and over. Ah, my... My... Dude, I freaked out. I screamed. Fucking screamed as loud as I could. I was so mad. Ah, it doesn't seem like I'm actually hitting anything. So you know what? Is it, uh... See if I, I wonder if I can build something over here. Mm, now, I, someone commented that they don't like just having me having uh, stuff done. They want to like see me build it. Um, that would take up a lot of video time. Like to build something, it takes a while. So maybe I'll just speed up the video. If I start building, I might just speed up the entire video. Eh, which I think would be. I, uh, yeah, I guess I could speed up the video. That'd be better, right? Nothing out here? Hmm? No, and of course not, because there's lava. So, do I have... I think I have more Yeah, I definitely have more materials at my next... At my older base, but, uh... Hmm. I don't see anything out there. Uh, so, what... God damn it, stop! Oops. Stop catching on fire! This thing keeps catching on fire. So, last episode, it wasn't the door that... Oh, let me... Yeah, change the fog. It wasn't my worry that the door would catch on fire, really. Because I, I learned that, like, it, it won't. I guess. As long as it has some stuff around it. Like, a door can't burn. And since glass can't burn, the doors are safe. But now I'm really worried... About, uh, about getting fried when I go out. Which kind of sucks. I don't know what I'm going to do about that, but uh, I'm going to go to the bathroom, which, you know, I'll stop the recording. And when I get back, I am going to build something and just speed up. So, uh, super speed go!
Okay, now I have uh, actually run out of time in the day anyway to uh, finish my little project. So I'm going to stand here and I'm going to wait a little while until uh, the sun rises again. So uh, once again, I will be back in a second. Well, I got bored of waiting, so I'm doing a little bit of digging. Just to make the time pass. Who knows, maybe I'll stumble into something, wouldn't that be great? Now, in case it's not obvious, seeing as I went out and collected a bunch of sand, and then, you know, made a giant hole. I'm just making a nice big old glass roof, which I might develop into a little tiny... Uh, what's the word I want to use? Not what it's not a watchtower. Outpost? No, not that either. I really don't know. But it'll look nice. Well, maybe a little glass house. I think that's the best way I can put it. A little glass house on top of my floor. Or at least a house with a glass floor. That'd be nice. Wouldn't that be nice? So, once day, now I'm just, I'm, I am absolutely worried about stuff just taking a nap in my house because there is, you know, a giant freaking hole in there. I think it's, there's nothing stopping something from getting in there if it wanted to. Yeah, I didn't really plan this out well, did I? Should have waited until I had more time. Or at least got the glass cooking a lot earlier. And the reason I cooked the cobblestone is just, uh, you know, make it look nicer. Make it a nicer, like, make the outside, make it all goddamn gravel. Make it symmetrical, make it nice. Goddamn gravel. <laughs> or gravel, right? Uh, yep, gravel. Gravel is only useful when I have a bow. Even then, it's pretty damn annoying. La 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 I'm going to be back up in my base's main area in three, two, one. Ta-da! All right, now, creeper, zombie. Do I see anything moving around in my base? It doesn't look like it, because I have to go in there to get the glass I was making. Oh, I thought that was something on fire in front of my base. Guess not, that's just the thing. So, let me just get rid of all this crap. Why do I have... Oh, right, I found a block of iron while I was digging. So, let me just get rid of this. Uh, I what planks I could always use. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Eh, nah, I'll bring this back to my other base. Wow. It is a creeper party out there. There were no enemies while I was building, and now I'm gonna be killed. Like, this is gonna suck. Ah. Uh, light enough. Do I have the normal? Um. I'm gonna see how well this works on far. Because even with my, my powerful machine, I occasionally ran into a tiny bit of hitch up when I used fire, but I'm going to see how well. Because, I, dude, look, look at that. Look at that landscape. Look at it. Hey, that's my pool stream thing. They are, Sheepy is allowed to use it. Chicken, he's, he's a shifty one, but I trust him enough to use it. I, didn't, I never said you go in my pool. Get off my lawn. Okay, let's let's head on back to my base and hope nothing decides to jump in my mouth. Ooh, feathers. 
Please tell me nothing's in my base. It'd be beautiful. Wow, I'm still smelting glass, apparently. Yeah, I guess I did put 62 in there, if that makes sense. Is there anything in here that wants my face? No. Um, no. Uh, in the event something, nothing, like, enemies can't go up ladders, right? I've never actually seen it or tried. I still don't feel 100% confident right here. Can I kind of maybe get it from here? That'd be beautiful if I could just grab this stuff from right here. Of course not. Ah, oh, crap! <laughs> ah! Burr, burr, get out of my house! Ah! I don't want to die! I don't want to be in a death trap, thanks. Yeah, I'm getting a little tiny bit of hitches. But, you know what? I... Uh, I might be worth it. If it is that big a problem, guys, I will uh, I'll go back to normal, but I just like far. I will always prefer far. That's, that's kind of why far is a pain in the ass, because that hitch just made me do that. Speaking of, uh, of gay people, uh, my, my friend Daniel has recently gotten a not crappy PC, and he has also obtained fraps. He wants to do his own Minecraft series, um, so if he decides to actually, god damn it, if he decides to actually go ahead and do one, I will let you guys know. I, I will totally give you a heads up and put a link in my channel. Because Dan is my friend, and he'd be happy to hear that because I've been busting his balls about it. Alright, sweetness. Now let me just clean up a little bit around the base. Oh, right, I didn't get the cobblestone. Get that cobblestone or whatever, regular stone. Stone of champions. I wonder if I'll ever catch on fire because of this. Uh, I should place torches above the base, actually. Yeah, probably should. Okay, let me insert the cobblestone. So now I got regular good old stone. I will give me let me just touch up the space a bit. Wow! <laughs> you stupid motherfucking cow! You guys see that? Did you see that? Did you see, dude? You just, dude, dude! Your friend just jumped on in there. He just nosedive into that damn lava. <laughs> Uh, how about just one on each corner? That sounds good. Mark on my territory. I'm like, I'm like a cat. A sexy cat. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. That would have been really bad. <laughs> I almost took a nosedive there into the lava hole. Let me put a torch there. That one. Put a torch there. Uh... Just for safety, put one there. And a couple, no, no, you know what, no, doesn't look great. I'm gonna go back inside my nice lava base. I think we're gonna end it here, so I will see you guys next time on the next Minecraft journey.